Here is a video on how to add text on Onshape. Pretty simple. You go sketch. You're going to select your sketch plane. It can be on an object or one on the planes given to you or maybe a plane that you can make on your own. But we're going to go on the front. Find your text tool. Remember, you can click once and, and then drag it down. Click again. Or you can just click once, drag down, and let go of the mouse, and then it's going to come up. Okay? It doesn't have a ton of text um, fonts compared to some other things, but it has a decent amount. I don't usually ever change them. So if I wanted to say blah, 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 that's what it would look like. Okay, almost every time you're going to 3D print some, I would highly recommend that you make it bold. It's going to print much nicer. Okay, you can also have it written backwards, upside down. Okay, so check mark, and then it wrote it really big. Okay. So that's the problem that many of you are going to run into on Onshape at first. You're going to want to have things sized the way you want it to be. So let's say I had a, start, a, a rectangle that I wanted to fit that in. So I'm going to say I want a rectangle. I want it to be 5 inches wide, 3 inches tall. Okay. Move it over here so you can see it. So I'm, there's that. Okay, so I want blah, blah, blah to be smaller. So I'm going to say dimension. And I know my, I'm going to go from that side to that side, and then I click again. It says, oh, I drew it at 12 and a half inches, basically. Well, this is 5, so I only want it to be, let's say, 4.75. Okay. So now I know it would fit inside of this square, right? Okay. There's a few other tricks you can do as well. So I'm going to move it over here so you can kind of focus on it. What if you want it to go sideways up and down? Well, the first thing I would do is show the constraints on it. After you see your constraints, you can get click on that right here and then press the delete button on your keyboard. And then you have this tool over here where you can change uh, all kinds of things. So vertical, for instance. Okay. And then all of a sudden, after you click on that, now it's vertical. Okay. And if I wanted to go back horizontal, see, there's an error because it can't be vertical and horizontal at the same time. So if I click once on the vertical and hit delete, now it's horizontal again. Okay, so keep in mind, if you do want to use those kind of constraints, you can't have conflicting ones. Okay, so that's writing text, that's changing its size, and that's changing its direction as well. Okay, and there's other ways as well, but we'll get into those as you guys learn more on Onshape.